Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to add in a Roblox main menu. So first off, inside the Explorer tab, click Start GUI. Then add in a Screen GUI and rename it to Menu. Then inside of your menu, add in a frame. And um, you can also leave this just called frame if you want. And then I'm just going to make it so it fits the entire screen. Okay, so now I'm just going to customise it to a uh, blue colour. So there we go. And then inside the frame, add in two buttons. This is going to be my play button. And then I'm going to duplicate it and make this into a settings button. So when you press it, then it'll open up a new frame which is going to say settings. And now you can customise them. You can change the background transparency to one. Then you can change the text, you can change the font, you can change the colour of anything. And then I'm just going to give it a little outline. And then I'm just going to rename it to play. And change this one to settings. As well as text too. Again, I'm just going to give it a little outline. Here we go. Actually, I'm just going to change it to maybe like a darker blue. There you go, so you can see it's the proper title. And then, inside the play button, add in a local script. And then I'm just going to write a quick script and then you'll be able to pause the video to see what I write. Okay, so here's a script. You can pause it if you want to write it out for yourself. If you close it off now, and if you press play, and then well, once it loads, um, your menu should be there. So here we go, you can see my menu. So right now settings don't work, but if you press play, the whole frame should disappear and you'll be able to play your game. So now, I'm just going to add in another frame. Call this to settings, maybe like settings frame. There you go. You can change it to maybe like about this size. You can change colour again. There you go. And then you can just add in a title. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to add in a close button. So just a text button. Maybe make it a bit smaller. Put it in the top corner. I'm just going to name this to close. Okay, so here's my close button. And now, inside of the close button, add in another local script. And you can pause the video if you want to write out the script for yourself. Here we go, you can see it's um, the same as the, the play button. So if you just want to copy and paste that script into your close one, then it'll work the same. Again, close off your script, and this should work. But then if we also scroll down on the settings frame, and make sure it's invisible, you just click visible and make sure it's unticked. Close that off. Inside settings, add in another local script. And again, I'm just going to be writing out a quick script so then you can pause the video and see what I write. Okay, so here's the script. You can pause the video if you want to write it out. Close the script, close the settings button, and then if you test it out, so press play. And once it loads in, you can see if you press settings, it opens up this frame. If you click the close button, it closes it. Again, you can do this as many times as you want, it still works. And then if you click play, you can see you can actually play your game. So this is it for this quick tutorial guys, if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. Also if this doesn't work then you can um, have a message for me on my discord server or Roblox group or you can take the model which is also in the description and I'll see you later. Bye!